Xenia is a self-made entrepreneur. She speaks six languages. She has a degree in economics. She runs a fashion blog. She's a spokesmodel. She's got seven million followers on social media. With social media, it never stops. And people don't know it when people from outside don't know it, but it's a full-time job. And the most successful figures in my industry, I'm not the only one doing this, are the ones who work the hardest. The social media is 24 seven. Do you have tips for people starting out on social media who want to change the world? Find a voice, find your message and be consistent. It's about, social media is always about consistency. You cannot have a break. When you start and you're at the beginning mainly, you have to keep going and you will create your audience. Another tip is if you have a subject, uh, you need to align yourself with other influencers that speak about a similar subject or the same subject. That's going to help you create an audience quicker. How do you understand your community? How do you learn who your community is? Social media and whether it's for your personal brand or your brand as a business, is always visual, is always light. And even if your message is deeper, is more intelligent, is a more serious one, you want to portray it in a light way. If I speak about female empowerment or uh, acceptance or I speak against prejudice, I tend to do it through fashion, through makeup, through beauty, through something funny, through me eating my lunch and talking about the food I'm having, and at the same time, try to convey that message. It works better. How do you cope with the perfect image needed to succeed on social media? That's a very nice one. I think it's actually not good on social media to be perfect all the time because you become unrelatable mm -hmm. and people want to relate. And this is the unifying factor of social media, the fact that you can be real and people can be like you, and they can. People can be like me, people can do what I'm doing. The barriers at entry are quite low, which is amazing. How do you deal with trolls and online bullies? That's a great question. When I have the time and I'm on a live video and I see disrespectful comments, I really like to make fun of them and point them out instead of ignoring them in a very soft and sweet manner. I don't need to go against them. I just want other people around in my community to be aware of it and make fun of these people with me. So it creates sort of a positive wave. Now, what do you think uh, social media and technology, what role do you think that could play in helping development agencies like the UN um, achieve that goal? Social media and the internet in general uh, is an incredibly powerful tool. That's why we need access. And the most important and first step is the access to the internet. Once there is this access for girls and women around the world, it's quite cheap and quite easy for them to learn and to get on the marketplace. I think it's the easiest way to reach a community.